Alright, so it's kind of early right now, um, for me, even though it's like 12. Um, I just woke up, that's why. I don't... But I just wanted to get a video out because, <laughs> I don't know, I just want to make sure that my channel's still going. Um, especially considering what YouTube's doing right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, tell some stories about, um, my teeth, which have happened. Like, not just a herpst. Um, I still have braces. Um, I only have a few more months until I get rid of them, but I still have them for now. Um, but these are stories about my baby teeth, which happened before obviously before the, the braces, um, and because my baby teeth were just so stubborn when I was younger, um, I had to get them removed. I'll tell about that. I really only have, like, two big stories about them. Maybe, like, three. Um, two of them are about me losing them naturally, and the other one's about them getting removed at the dentist's, which was... It's not fun, trust me. Um, so I'll start with the first story. I'm not really sure which came first when I naturally lost the teeth, but the one I just remembered is um, when I was going to get a McFlurry <laughs> out of the freezer um, because you know I was I was more ably. It, easily able to eat McFlurries without braces and stuff. Um, but I had this one baby tooth that I was really afraid of brushing because I was worried it was gonna fall out. Um, I was a- I was- <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I guess I just thought, you know, it's gonna fall out anyway. What's the point of giving it good hygiene? But then I later learned it can f affect the rest of your teeth and I was like, oh gosh. Um, but anyway, I was going to get a McFlurry and then all of a sudden the tooth just falls out. <laughs> um, uh, and then it, it was like, it was really gross. <laughs> um, it was like black and brown and gross because I didn't brush it and like the, the blood wasn't really connected to it so it just kind of rotted. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I kind of lost, lost my appetite for the McFlurry but I still ate it at the end, but still, um, that tooth just reminded me to brush the rest of my baby teeth. Um, it was really gross. Um, but it's gone now, so I don't have to deal with it. Um, the next story is another loss of, uh, my baby teeth, because this is <laughs> what this entire video is about. Um, so basically, me and my mother were about to watch a movie, like, a, at, ha at home. Um, we were just kind of settling ourselves on the couches and stuff, and we had our candy. I had Swedish fish, which I'm not allowed to eat with the braces right now, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, anyway, I don't remember what movie it was. Um, I don't... yeah, I don't think it was that. Anyway, um... And so I took a bite of the Swedish fish and like I was like doing like I don't really know how to describe it I was like biting into it then pushing it in my mouth and biting again then pushing it in my mouth and biting again I don't know how to describe it um anyway and after the first bite and I push it back I realize something's missing so I quickly pull it out and I see my baby tooth stuck to the Swedish fish <laughs> and I was I was a bit freaked out because I was like, what? <laughs> um, um, yeah, and then I just kind of removed it from the Swedish fish, and I don't think I ate Swedish fish for the rest of the night, but maybe I did, I don't remember. And luckily, um, Swedish fish are red, so I didn't really see any blood if there was any that was coming out on the Swedish fish. Because I don't, I don't like blood. I mean, you know. I'm not- I'm not edgy. <laughs> anyway, um, the last story is probably what, like, hardened me about the dentist, like, going to the dentist. Um, so, when I first learned that my baby teeth not coming out naturally was a bit of a problem, um, I was recommended to go to the dentist and have them removed, 
by the dentist. Um, <laughs> when I first heard this, I I cried. <laughs> I, I cried for like 10 minutes, maybe longer. Um, uh, eventually, I was just told that if I didn't get it out naturally myself, which is not really naturally, um, I would have to go to the dentist. And eventually, it's just like, I can't get it out myself, I have to go to the dentist. So I went to the dentist. Um, the whole time before, I was just, like, so nervous. Like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I can't even think of an example. Um, I was just really nervous. I was even more nervous than the Herbst appointment. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I go to the dentist. I wait in the waiting room, blah blah. I go to the dentist, and then <laughs> we describe the issue. And the first time, I only had one baby tooth that needed removing. There was another time. Um, so anyway, um, if you're ever going to go through this procedure, forbid, um, then I'm going to describe what happens. Um, so basically, they you tell them the problem, you show them where the tooth is, um, and then they, uh, they, they take out like a numbing gel, which they might not use, they might just go right with the Novocaine. Um, for me, they use the numbing gel, um, or maybe it's the other way around. Um, and then they, uh, they just put the numbing gel right where the, like, on the gum where the tooth was. And then after a few minutes, um, your, <laughs> my mouth felt, like, weird. I couldn't feel the, I don't really know what part of my mouth it was. I couldn't feel that part of my mouth. It was really weird. <laughs> it kind of felt like I had, like, some kind of, like, cotton there. Which <laughs> I was gonna get later, but... I don't know. It felt weird. Um, anyway. And then after a few minutes, they take out a Novocaine. And <laughs> at first I was like, you know what, let's skip the Novocaine. Just go right with the numbing gel. And they were like, I, I really recommend the numbing gel. And eventually I was just like, okay, fine, do the Novocaine. Um, so uh, they, <laughs> they, they administer the Novocaine, which... When you first hear it, it probably sounds like really bad, but with the numbing gel, it really doesn't. Um, they just stick the needle um, where the where they put the numbing gel, and you know they they put the liquid in there. Um, for me, it just felt like a pinch, like a a pretty like a pretty bad pinch, but it just felt like a pinch. Um, you know how it is. <laughs> um, you know, my, my gums are sensitive, so I suppose it was better if, that I did get the Novocaine. Um, I mean, I think they are. Anyway, um, so yeah, basically they take out a, um, a vacuum, you know, like a suction, but it's like a little bigger so that it can fit teeth. <laughs> anyway, um, they, uh, they, they just put the, the vacuum thingy suction, uh, against my baby tooth. Well, not like against it, but like near it. And then the uh, the dentist put on a glove and started to wiggle my baby tooth out. <laughs> um, and the whole time I was well, like before then, like he um, he was about to, but then I closed my mouth, and the dentist said you have to open, and I was like I, I shook my head, and <laughs> eventually I was uh, I. My, uh, dad gave me a look in the eye and said, open, and that's what got me to open, so. Yeah, I, I was crying the whole time, um, uh, and then eventually after, like, maybe ten seconds, maybe less, um, of wiggling the tooth, it finally popped out and just went up the, the suction, and, uh, I got to keep it afterwards. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, uh, d I, I still didn't feel great afterwards. They also gave me, a, um, gauze to put in my mouth. Ugh. I hate gauze. Um, I was, I'm gonna be honest, um, other than, like, all the panicking and all the open your mouth stuff, I, I have to say gauze is the worst part, in my opinion. 
Um, and all the dentists were surprised that I told them that, because I'm... I don't know. I guess... Uh, I guess that's just not what you expect when it comes to getting a tooth removed. Um, uh, so yeah, I got gauze, and I put it in my mouth. And our, our car drive back is like 10 to 20 minutes. Probably 20 minutes, so... Uh, <laughs> the whole time in the car, I'm just sitting with gauze in my mouth. Um, which means I can't really swallow. So I had like 20 minutes worth of saliva in my mouth by the time we got back. Um, the whole time I wasn't able to speak because my mouth was numb and I had gauze in my mouth. Um, uh, but yeah, I had to kind of like type stuff on a phone uh, to speak, I guess. Uh, but after we got back and I looked away when, when I got the gauze removed, um, but there was like a bunch of saliva. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear about this, but yeah, and then I just got new gauze put in for a second time, and then after that I didn't need to have the gauze, I think. Um, yeah, it, <laughs> it wasn't fun. Um, and then there was a second time, um, I still had other baby teeth then, there was a second time, um, I, uh, I had two other baby teeth, or maybe three, I think it was two, um, I think. Um, and those ones weren't coming out either, so I went to the dentist again, and uh, one of them I had removed actually broke into parts. Like, it broke into four or three parts. Um, four or three pieces, so I c <laughs> we couldn't really keep that one, but we got to keep the, uh, the non-broken one, so, you know, I wasn't as worried then. Um, I still had to get cause on both sides of my mouth that time. Um, and Novocaine on both sides, I think. Ugh, it was not fun. Um, but yeah, I don't have any more baby teeth, and I haven't had baby teeth for like two years, maybe. Um, <laughs> it's been a great relief not to have baby teeth anymore. Um, uh, I mean, I've heard of people who still have baby teeth, um, when they get braces. I've seen some, like, young people getting braces, and I'm just like, how can you get braces with baby teeth? You know, you're getting your adult teeth fixed. I don't know, I guess there's some kind of technology behind it. Anyway, um, not really in my situation, but anyway, I still have a few more months with the braces, and I'm sure when I get those removed, other than the anxiety of what's gonna happen, I'm sure it's gonna be a great relief. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really not fun. Maybe I'll have some more stories to tell, because I, I do have stories to tell. But for now, I think I'm just going to conclude this here. Um, it's also Sunday, and I kind of put off making a video. I don't know why. Um, anyway, uh, that's, that's my story time for now, and see you next time.